Canada's Elmore finishes ninth in Olympic marathon, nearly two decades after last games. Kenya's Jep Churcher wins gold, 2 hours 27 minutes and 20 seconds, ahead of compatriot Kokiai, American Seidel. Nine years after leaving track and field behind, and 17 years since her last Olympic appearance, Canadian Melindy Elmore claimed a top 10 finish in the women's Olympic marathon. The 41-year-old Kelowna, BC, native overcame the scorching Sapporo heat to finish ninth with a time of 2 hours 30 minutes and 59 seconds at the Tokyo Olympics on Friday. It is the best Olympic marathon finish by a Canadian woman in a non-boycott games. Kenya's Paris Jepchurcher won her country's second straight Olympic gold in the event with a time of 2 hours 27 minutes and 20 seconds, while fellow Kenyan and world record holder Bridget Kokiai claimed silver, 2 hours 27 minutes and 36 seconds. American Molly Seidel, running in her third ever marathon, took bronze at 2 hours 27 minutes and 46 seconds. I had given up any kind of Olympic aspirations, I never thought I'd be back to the Olympics. Elmore said, moments after finishing. I was moving on with my life. Returning Olympian Natasha Wodak, of Surrey, BC, kept pace with Elmore for much of the race to finish 13th with a time of 2 hours 31 minutes and 41 seconds. I'm in so much of a better place mentally, physically, all around, Wodak said. I came into this race with just my heart full of gratitude to be here, and you know, I'm 39 years old. I said after Rio, anything's icing on the cake. So today was a frickin' whole cake on top of the cake. Tecumseh, Ontario, native Dana Pidoriski was the final to finish, placing 73rd, 3 hours 3 minutes and 10 seconds. Elmore made her Olympic debut in 2004 in the 1,500m event, but she fell short of qualifying for the Games in 2008 and 2012 leading her to walk away from the athletics world. The mother of two ran in her first ever marathon in 2019 after making her comeback. I loved it, and I did really well, said Elmore, whose time in that first attempt was just two minutes shy of the Olympic qualifying standard. I thought well, I should do another one and see if I could get standard. But I thought that was kind of hilarious really, to even be thinking that, trying to get to the Olympics. In her second marathon early last year, she smashed the Canadian women's record with a time of 2 hours 24 minutes and 50 seconds in the Houston Marathon besting the mark by more than 2 minutes while earning an Olympic spot. Japan's Hanamai made a lead out of the gate and set the pace early on in Sapporo, but the chasing pack quickly began to close the gap. Reigning world champion Ruth Chepngetic of Kenya took the lead at the 5km mark with a time of 18.02, with Kokiai and Jep Churcher running alongside her among a large group. Kokiai set the women's marathon world record at the Chicago Marathon in 2019, 2 hours 14 minutes and 4 seconds. Running together, Wodak and Elmore were just 3 and 4 seconds back of the lead, respectively. Returning Olympian Lona Chemtai Salpeter of Israel pushed ahead to keep pace near the front of the pack, right behind the Kenyan trio. The lead group began to diminish as the pace settled after 10 kilometers and Elmore moved in line with the leaders following her strong start. But Elmore began to fall back as the group continued to thin out, finding herself 15 seconds behind at the halfway mark with Wodak 5 seconds behind Elmore. Seidel and fellow American Sally Kipiego were among the pack at the front. Chepngetic finally fell off the group, and only nine runners remained in front as the race reached 30 kilometers with fatigue kicking in. Elmore and Wodak dug deep to power through and rejoin the group, but were behind by 51 seconds and 120, respectively. Seidel charged to the head of the group as the only American in the lead pack. But the two remaining Kenyan runners, Kokiai and Jep Churcher pushed right back to equal the pace. Salpeter and Bahrain's Eunice Chumba rounded out the leading group of five as they progressed past 35 kilometers, with the leading Kenyan duo holding a one-second lead over the other three. 2 hours 2 minutes and 58 seconds. Elmore dropped back to 147 behind the leaders. The longer I could be patient, the better I would do, Elmore said. I had hoped to pick it up in the last 10k. But really, it became a hold on and not fall apart kind of last lap, because I started to hurt a lot. And I took everything I could really the last 6, 7k to keep the momentum going forward. 
Chumba fell off the pack, and it was just after the 37 km mark that the Kenyans finally made their move to separate with a commanding lead. Salpeter hit the wall, stopping entirely at the 38 km mark to leave Seidel in bronze position. Seidel did everything she could to rejoin the leaders, while Elmore battled past several runners on the final stretch to enter the top 10. I went from feeling great I had just received news that I was 40 seconds from 10th place and suddenly, I was just like, whoa. It hit me really hard, I just felt like I was going to stop. And I felt like throwing up. So, I took a gel and some water and dumped a bottle on my head and just tried to get ahead of things a bit, Elmore said. From there on in it was just like really trying to just stay in the moment. I knew that everyone is hurting at this point. So, if I'm moving forward towards the finish line and not falling apart, then I'm actually probably making good progress. Jepcherchur pushed ahead at the 40 km mark to leave Kokiai behind her in silver position, and her lead continued to grow as she secured the win on the final kilometer. It feels good. I'm so, so happy because we win as Kenya, first and second, Jepcherchur said. I thank my God so much. I'm happy for my family. I'm happy for my country, Kenya.